Well, maybe my laundry fix didn't work. <sighs> Stupid thing. Well, there it is. Looks like my fix didn't hold. I think we're going to need to put a clamp on there. If I were a hose clamp, where, 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 where would I be? So much stuff down here. It's electrical. All the screws. Hose clamps. Washers. A bunch of random stuff. And I do not see any of those clamps other than very large ones. So I guess we're going to have to go to the store. Ooh, what do we have in here? Bulbs. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, this guy's still probably too big, but we're going to give it a shot. Small can you go? Nice and tight. Okay, I think it's truly fixed. Now I'll try to find another clamp for the other side, but that one's pretty tight, so I think we got it. taking the dinghy over from Lee Spry to um, Safe Harbor Aqua Yacht. I'm gonna leave the dinghy there, grab there, pick up, go buy some wood. It is pretty cold though. It's only about 50 degrees today. Thankfully it's a short jaunt. When I get in the truck there'll be a heater so uh, about a five minute, five minute cruise over. store so they're out of what we need hopefully the big stores got what we need if you find yourself in savannah tennessee check out the spot you get a good burgers and a uh i think it's a complimentary salad bar that's the wrong stuff i kind of had a feeling it was it wasn't crazy about it but the guy at Lowe's said oh yeah this is the stuff you want to use but uh, Lee Spry says nope he doesn't trust it so we're headed back <sighs> headed back to Lowe's we're gonna exchange this for something else well that's the right stuff so that's good and now we're gonna just cut it up put it in well there is a hot shower um, although I might, I might pass on this one, uh, it might be worth going to Aqua Yacht. I mean, it doesn't look too bad, and a hot shower is a hot shower. Hmm. The magical cleaning solutions have arrived. Well... It was a nice hot shower. I even had a little shower buddy. Hey, little guy. Uh, yeah, uh, the murder bathroom. 
Uh, I did not get murdered yet. I'm sick of being cold. It's a nice sunny day. It's supposed to be like 68 degrees today. And look at me, I'm wearing a hood. It's cold. It doesn't look cold. <sighs> Can't see my breath. It's cold though. I'm sick of it. So today is day 14 and um, we've got, the guys are still working. Tom and I are doing some work too. Uh, try and get this uh, ship shape. And uh, yeah, we're probably stuck here another couple of days. Um, looks like we've got another day at least of cleaning, probably a day for painting, 24 hours probably to let that dry. And then the uh, water heaters can go in and then we'll have hot water. You know, we're just hanging out. There's basically one bar in town. We've been to that bar every night and uh, they close at nine. So <laughs> it's been a bit boring. Uh, and we've been taking the dinghy there. Uh, we have to take the dinghy a couple of miles and then walk to the bar. Supposedly tonight there is uh, karaoke at some other bar. Well, we don't know where it is, but uh, there's karaoke. And uh, maybe we'll go and check that out. Because it's kind of boring, just the two of us sitting in a marina. Um, but uh, at least we're getting some projects done. These are some of the important things that we're doing to make sure that we have safe trip. a safe trip. <laughs> in order to continue, uh, we want to make sure that the JL speakers are in. Give me that drill bit. Tom wants that. I guess we'll give it to him. Well, if your music isn't evenly distributed throughout the boat, you have high and low spots, which could create a dangerous scenario. Yeah, I mean, you've got harmonic distortion, and then you can't hear the, the marine radio warning you of weather or traffic. Yeah, whatever. Well, I was just needing to get out, so I uh, decided to take a little walk. Not a whole lot in the little industrial park that we're in, but found this little dirt road and kind of went around there. A bunch of little houses around here, and I found, uh, found an interesting spot. Yes, I explored Daddy's bottom. I don't really know what to think about that. When I walk through that door tonight, yeah, I don't miss her. I got a <laughs> Well, it's the end of day 14. And, um... We've ended up at the karaoke bar. <laughs> and, uh, you know, being stuck in a town where there's really not a whole lot going on isn't necessarily the best thing. But we've actually had a pretty good time here, and uh, most of the people that we have met have been very genuine, very friendly, very nice. This isn't necessarily someplace I'm going to come back to intentionally. However, if I'm doing the loop again, eh, maybe I'll spend a day or two here. Thank you guys very much for watching these trips. And um, if you are interested in learning more, please comment. I'm always willing to, uh, to, to reply. If you want to know more about the loop, uh, there is the America's Great Loop Cruiser Society. Whatever. Here's the link. Bam. And uh, you can check that out too. So thanks very much for watching. We have much more to come because we are still here and we're, we, we're not even halfway yet to, uh, to our destination. Thanks very much. I'm ready to go off of this boat. Uh, 